Hey guys, you see me? No, no, don't wait for me. I, I will go back because like, you know, it's stupid to go up now. Yeah, but you know, like it started to rain like here. No, but it's here it's raining, down there. No? No, but sometimes it's better to not get finished, but like be still alive. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm worried that it will be like really raining because like actually this cloud is chasing me all the time. Yeah, it's... yeah, it is. <laughs> no, no, I will go back. I... I think. Okay, maybe I will try. You know, like this, kids who's just witnessing the worst killing of their life with their very, very own eyes. So there is this child called Claudia. So Claudia, together with her siblings, they are the only survivors. The parents died, and the only remaining family also killed the back in front of them. They got attacked, actually, like some days before us. Guys, do you see the, la the path? Are you good? We don't know what happened, but this is what Claudia says because when we moved out, Claudia and the others are still in the wilderness. Nobody can get anywhere, you know, like it's in the mountain. If they went down to the wrong community, we would die. Yeah. So some people even stay in the mountain in three, four, some days, a month. There is auntie who was a Sunday school teacher. She was like big, pregnant, like four months pregnant, like eight or nine. She was like they cut her because she couldn't drop back. So they feel her, but they I don't know that way. They took her in front of the car. In my car, and she saw it. And she was like younger than me, and I was 10. And she can remember that. And you can imagine how traumatized it was. So she was the oldest one of the four. She, her younger two siblings, one is still baby, one is like one, and another one is like below. There's only four of them. They went on the mountains. And what I can remember, because before she came to our camps, there was this gossip, like rumors, like there was this kid from this village, they were like, like held by this very magical creatures, like a uh, old man asking them to follow the stars so they can be safe. I wouldn't even know that one day that kid in the rumor would came and tell the fucking story to, in front of my face. And this is like the kid, kid, the whole people, like the whole city is talking about. So yeah, when the Claudia came, she told me the story. Was like, ah, there's this old man. So one of my brother actually they went to pool. So yeah, the, the baby. So she had to took them to the river so they can bring the baby and stuff. So one day when they on the way go up, she met this old guy who asked them to follow the stars. So she followed the stars and she ended up in the Christian community and they can save them and they place them in the battle with us. I call it barrack, it's a survivor you come to the barrack with us. They always have dogs like howling, like oh and one doing that and every every dog will follow, right? Mm -hmm. But it only happens several days before someone is dying. Every time the dog does that on 5 or 6 p.m. Someone will die in some place. So every time the dogs do that, we always say, okay, it's nice. <laughs> Stuff like that. 
Yes. So yeah, they were like, oh, some, some silly stuff. But I mean, I'm, I'm very thankful that people actually learned because my hometown is actually very, very safe. Right? That, like, they're the most tolerant hometown. The whole Indonesia, you know, like, we even have the rules that the Muslim has to pay for the church. Like, if the uh, Christian village they want to build a new church, the Muslim have to go and build it. And going vice versa for Christians and Muslims as well. So, it's actually the culture that very strong, the strongest culture. But history teaches us that even with a very strong culture, shit could happen if the politics is taken over. That's why nowadays uh, information is really easily accessed. You know, like you can access everything on the internet. If you do something bad, it will not only affect you, but it will affect your community and your people and your religion and your country. So, yeah, but like, you know, the like information is like, it's used by the, it's, it's said that, you know, that, like, uh, uh, who is like, manipulating the information is uh, like someone who put like a really, really huge amount of power. That was happen. That was, that's what, we, we even have this one, Provocators. Provocators, like, was a very bad word. Because Provocators are the one who play behind the screen, you know? Those are like these actors. Maybe one of them, there are five of them, let's say. This is one we assume. One who goes to this community, saying that this community is getting attacked. So that's how they saw. But actually nothing happened. So they kind of like, it, because they were into them back then, you know? If you hear something right now, you will check the internet like, oh, is that shit really happen? You know? Or if you do something stupid, then it will, be, will bring back bad reputation to your whole matter of religion, you know? Yeah, but in the internet, there is not always like the... Uh, yeah. Only for stupid people, but to small people, they will cross check all the shit. They will call people, they will go to Korea, they will, go, they will text people, is this really happened, you know? Like in Indonesia, some people actually, some of them like easily interview. But my hometown, we learn from the worst.